Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and welcome to my channel. In today's story, OP has extreme OCD and has high functioning autism. Because of that, he uses routine as a grounding mechanism. On his birthday, his family goes out for birthday dinner. However, he reaches out to Reddit because he has a very weird encounter with his family. Unfortunately, this encounter reveals some really disturbing circumstances. Luckily, it does end on a positive note, so stay tuned for the final update. I do hope that you enjoy this story. If you do, please leave a thumbs up. And before I move on to the story, I just wanted to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you so much, you guys are so wonderful. For those of you that don't know, I have a personal goal of reaching 1000 subscribers. So if you like my content and would like to support me, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. Anyways, thank you so much for your time and on to the story. Today I effed up by expecting my family to pay for my birthday dinner. Yesterday I turned 18 years old. For the past 6 years, like clockwork, every day on my birthday, we'd go to the same place for dinner and I'd always get the same thing. For those who are a bit confused, I have extreme OCD and high functioning autism. This means that I'm very well regulated and I like things to stay the same way that they've always been. Now back to the story. Every year on my birthday, we go to Applebee's. The first thing that I would get is the steak and shrimp parmesan with the side of loaded mashed potatoes and cheesy steamed broccoli. And hate me or not, with the side of mozzarella sticks. In total, it's around $30, which is a bit expensive, I know. I couldn't really tell something was off until a bit later because when me, my mom, my stepfather and my older brother there sat down, they didn't really see anything. I was confused at first and started tapping my fingers on one another like I always do. The conversation went a bit like this, and by the way, this isn't an exact replica. My mother, well, and this is where I got a little bit confused and said, well, my mother replied, aren't you going to call the waiter over? This gave me extreme anxiety. I have extreme issues with speaking to people and I tend to stutter and I get very scared if that's the right word. I asked her if she could do it and she does it in a huff. My dad and brother are staring nonchalantly. As she calls the waiter over, the alarm bells start ringing in my head. This is never how it went before. As the waiter gets to the table, he asks everyone what they want and everyone places their order. As he gets to me, my mother stops him and tells him, separate bill. This is when my heart began beating very fast. I don't have a job. All the money I get is from our neighbors raking leaves. I just kind of freeze. I don't really say anything and I get a really bad stomach ache from the anxiety. This is where I'm conflicted on whether I'm the a-hole or not. My mother would explain at the table that now that I'm 18, I should be able to pay for my own things. I was already feeling nauseous from the situation, so I just said that I don't have the money. My mom kind of huffs and shoes the waiter away. This soured the dinner party. However, my mom did pay for my 23-year-old brother. My family was calling me and entitled the little a-hole the whole ride home. When I got home, I just ran to my room and cried. They've been ignoring me the whole day. I may be bad at social cues, but my family has never acted like this before. I mean ever. They've been treating me horribly the whole day. I feel very angry and upset at my family. If I would have been warned, I would have saved my raking money. I also don't mean this to be a validation post. I have all the information you have. I'm just very confused and I'm terrible with social cues. Asperger's, am I right? My family does get a little tight on money. I guess I really should have asked before I assumed that they were going to pay it for me. But I missed out on my birthday dinner because I wasn't mature enough to bring my own money. I'm just gonna rake leaves for a couple of weeks to order it from takeout. OP then added a couple of edits to the original post. They say, Before you start like attacking my family, this could totally just be me missing some social cues or something. I'm very bad at picking up hints. And then they go on to add, I understand that what my parents did was horrible, 
But I can't claim that I didn't do anything wrong when there was nothing wrong beforehand. I've cried about it and I've tried speaking about it with them, but they just don't want to talk to me. I don't know what I did. For everyone concerned about me, I'm fine, thanks. Thank you everyone for the birthday wishes. They also add, Also everyone, I'm high-functioning autistic. It's a bit difficult to pick up on social cues and besides the anxiety, I'm fine. I'm going to have a sit down with my parents tomorrow and talk things over. This post kind of painted them as monsters, but I was a very tough kid. Everyone saying to leave them and call the state, etc. A psychologist did deem me perfectly capable of being independent if I could work on my anxiety. My parents have been loving, but I could be a troublemaker sometimes. And then they added a final time. I also don't want to do a 12 update thing. So when I figure out what's going on, if I get answers, I'll post it on my mini post on my own account. No need to flood r slash tifu. Hey everyone, you guys can call me Tony like everyone else. Thank you for all of the support. I just wanted to say thanks so much to everyone. Also, I'm sorry that I misspelled cues. I was able to sit down with my mom this morning. At first, I was rather angry with them but she would try to explain her sides of events. She told me that in order for me to be more independent, I had to learn that people didn't always get what they want, even if it's on our birthday or Christmas or any holiday. I asked her why they didn't just have a sit down with me and talk to me about it beforehand. She said that it wouldn't be as effective. She went into a whole lecture about how I've been leeching off them for the past few months and that I need to learn how to be a proper adult. When I asked her if we were going to go back to Applebee's so that we could do a birthday dinner makeover since I learned my lesson, she got angry. For everyone wondering if I got any gifts for my birthday, from my family, no, the dinner is usually the treat. Am I missing the point of this lesson? I understand that we don't always get what we want. I feel like my mom is manipulating me. I don't know. I tried asking my brother about it and all he said was talk to mom. Sorry that this is an acclimatic update. I'm sorry that it's not a happy ending, but this is all the information that I have. Thanks for reading, Redditors. And guys, I love my family so much. I do, but I feel like they're lying to me about stuff. I think that they want me to leave the house. If that's the case, I'm going to talk to my caseworker at school, who's in charge of my IEP. Again, I do not want this to be a validation post or anything. I was just genuinely confused and I wondered if I had missed anything. And then OP added, Hey everyone, thank you for the kind advice. Currently, I'm planning on job hunting and I'm scoping out friends to let me stay with them. I appreciate everyone reaching out. I tried to respond to everyone but I woke up to like 500 messages. I'm still at my family's house. For more information, my mom has been receiving social security for me since I was 8. It was about eight to nine hundred dollars a month. This money helped pay rent, get food for the house, etc. My mom tried convincing me to allow her to be my guardian. When I refused to sign anything, I had an evaluation done which included an IQ test and some basic questions. The whole time, my mother would try to lie, saying that I couldn't take care of myself, to the point where the psychiatrist got mad at her and sent her out. I think that my mom may have Munchausen syndrome. I'm not sure and I'm not going to diagnose her. My stepdad is not an a-hole and is actually way nicer to me than my mom. In fact, my stepdad tried putting aside cash for me for when I came to age, but my mom wouldn't let him. My half-brother is a lot like my mom personality-wise. He always takes her side on everything. He never went to college and doesn't have a job. For my mother's context, this doesn't excuse her actions, she does have bipolar disorder, however, she blames her disorder for everything. She'll say the rudest things to you and cut you down to your core. Then the next day pretend that everything is fine and never talk about it. If you try bringing it up, she says that I was having an episode. I do understand that I have a disability, but it's a disability that I can live with. I've been going to therapy for anxiety and I've been doing a lot better than I used to. I don't know what my future holds. I'm trying to look for a job and a place to stay at the moment. When I'm able to leave, I'm cutting my mom out of my life. My stepdad I'll stay in contact with. My stepbrother, 
Maybe if he can escape my mom's influence. I've been severely manipulated and emotionally abused. I see that now, reflecting on everything. To think, this all started with a birthday dinner that I couldn't have. I'm thinking about contacting my biological dad's family. He left when I was younger and I haven't had contact with his family since. My mom always told me that they didn't want to see me, but then again, that could have been a lie too. I hope that this answered any questions you had. This will be my last update. Thank you all for supporting me through my journey. I don't want to clog up TIFU. If you'd like to offer advice or anything, please message me. I'll read every message. So guys, what did you think about this? Please let me know in the comments down below. I personally am extremely infuriated by OP's mother. She sounds like a really conniving and manipulative individual. Like what the F is wrong with you? I personally feel that the social security checks play a significant role in this. First of all, if you feel like somebody's leeching off of you, there are much better ways to address this than kind of putting them on the spot at the restaurant. Like what the F? You could have sat down with them beforehand. You could have had this conversation. You could have let them know ahead. It's called transparency and good parenting. But I personally think good parenting is really lacking here. Also, again, the fight for guardianship and the social security checks, I think, play a significant role. I feel like this incident is OP's mother's way of sort of putting OP on the spot and making him feel really bad about himself, shattering his self-confidence and sort of trying to convince him that he's not good enough and that he's not capable enough to be able to take care of himself and thus eventually giving her guardianship. Also, it really wouldn't put her past me if OP's mother used finances as leverage to sort of get guardianship over him. I really hope that OP is able to get out of the situation. Like, oh my god. Anyways, OP was adamant that this was his last update, but if he does update again, especially with his dad's thing, I'll post an update and I will link it up here in the info cards. I will also add it to the description and I'll add a pinned comment down below, but I feel like this is the last update, at least according to OP. Anyways, what did you guys think about it? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy it, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like. And please subscribe if you'd like to hear more stories from Reddit with updates.